Hello, Nick. Good evening. Okay. Okay, how are you today? I'm fine, thanks, and you? Okay, so teacher is quite busy today. Okay, so now Nick, let us have here. Okay, actually, this is zero B grammar, right? So the last we had, we talked about the present simple tense and the present continuous tense. So, as a short review, teacher and told you about the use of present tense. Always remember, if the subject is singular, you always have takes a singular verb. Like when I say, Nick goes to the market teacher and and nick go to the market so you can see teacher and and nick is plural okay so wait for a minute okay like teacher and and nick go to the market can you see that? That's a very simple, uh, what's that sentence? When I say, Nick goes, okay, so can you see that? Okay, so this is the simple present tense. I use Nick goes because Nick is only one, that's singular. So here, teacher and Nick, I am asking or I am sharing to you, teacher and Nick, go to the market so it that's plural that's plural so that's why i have to use teacher and and nick go to the market okay so because nick and teacher and there are two okay, this one now in this one let us have here so the last also this is present simple the last also is we are talking about the present simple continuous tense like when i say i am okay i am going I am going to the, where is it? I am going to the market. Okay, can you see that? So here, Nick, you can see I am going to the market. So you say that I am going to the market now. Okay, I am going to the market at the moment. So when you say that, you use going ing the Okay, so sorry because the internet today, Nick, is not really good. Okay, so here. So this is as what teacher and told you. So we have to use ing with the present continuous. When we mention present continuous, Nick, always remember that we have to use ing form, okay? So here now, let's move to other, the will and going to. What's the use of will and what's the use of going to? Can you see this, Nick? Can you see? Can you see? Can you see this? Okay, very good. Okay, here. Okay, first, going to, it means we use going to for things here, for things we have already decided. Okay, for things we have already decided. Example, Nick, your intentions, the way you want it. Like 
I'm going to visit. Going. I'm going to visit my grandparents at the weekend. So your intentions, you want to go, you will going to visit your parents at the weekend. Going to. So you already had intentions. You already decided that what to, decided what to do. Okay, I will give you another example. Okay. Anna is going to the mall later tonight. So Anna already decided that she's going to the mall. Okay, you understand? You understand? Nick? Okay, next one. To make predictions, you will predict what will happen. Make predictions based on the present evidence. You will make predictions based on the present evidence. So you will have to make predictions. You will make predictions based on the present evidence. Example, look at those clouds. It's going to rain. So you already predicted. You have the prediction that it's going to rain. Oh, teacher Anne, look at the sky. Okay. It's dim. It's going to rain. Look at teacher Anne. There is a heavy rain and a very strong wind. It's going to have a strong typhoon. So you predicted what will happen by using the word going to. Okay. Oh, teacher. Okay. Okay, teacher Anne. I've seen a lot of people there. It's going to be a very busy day today. There is a lot of people in the market. So it's going to. So you try to predict. You try to look at already what will happen in the future. Do you understand? Okay. Yay. Next one, Nick. Very good. Okay. Now, what's the use of will? If we discuss going to, what's the use of will now? We use will for what, teacher? For things we decide to do as we are speaking. For things we decide to do as we are speaking, like instant right now. Decisions, instant decision, instant offer, instant promises. Like you will say, that's the phone ringing. I will answer it. Okay, so, and you will say, oh, mom. That's the phone ringing. I will answer it. Okay, so you decide instantly at that moment. Okay, so you will have to use the word will. Okay, this bag is very heavy. I will carry it. So upon putting it, upon carrying, oh, it's very heavy. Okay, so this, what's that? This cream of this cream is it's very heavy okay very heavy no it's very light okay teacher will not carry it again okay because this is breakable okay next one okay i'll ring you as soon as i get to london so you have decided you have the promise okay don't worry nick I will ring you or I will call you as long as I get to Vietnam. So we can meet each other. So that it promise. Don't worry, Nick. I will contact you as long as I get to my destination, to the place where we want to go to. Okay, so that's instant promise. So everything that you do, decisions, offers, offers like I will carry your bag. Promises like number three, this is the time that you will use will. Okay, next to make factual a statement. What do you mean by factual? So it means fact, a okay, fact, it's real. 
factual, it means it's real. Factual decision. So, factual statements about the future and to make predictions. Okay, like example, the sun will rise at 6.45 tomorrow morning. Okay, do you think you will finish your homework before midnight? Okay, that is statement. You are answering questions. You are asking questions, sorry. Do you think you will finish your activity today? Do you think, Nick, we can finish or we will finish this lesson? In 45 minutes. So these are predictions and factuals. It is true, true statement. Okay. You understand it? Very easy. Okay. 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 So next year, let us try to answer. Please try to put your answers here. Here. You put the word you write will or going to. Teacher, I got the answer. Okay, so what is the answer for letter A? Uh, I think it's going to. Okay, so you think it's going to. So my instruction here is you will have to write if it's going to or not. Okay, going to or will. Okay, going to. Okay, when it is based on what we can see or hear. Okay, letter B, what is your answer? It's will. Okay, will for predictions. You will use will when it is based on what we know or it's just a guess. Okay, great job. How about for plans? When we use that one. The first one is going to. Okay, the first one is letter C. Okay, very good. We use going to when we have already decided what to do, correct? And letter D? Letter D is will. Okay, will, when we decide what to do at the moment of speaking, always, always remember that. Difference between going to and will. So. Just going to when we have already decided. So it's finished. We already decided. But when you say, well, when we decide what to do at the moment of speaking. So the moment that I spoke up here, 
So I will use will. Okay, three, letter E, what's the answer? Letter E is, a, letter e is will. Okay, we use will to make offers on promises. Wow, so you understand this? You understand this, Nick? Okay, great job. Okay, so here. So I have here some of the conversation. Please try to match the underlined sentences from the dialogue with the structure. Can you see the underlined sentences? Okay, here. The one here. Underlined sentences from the dialogue with the structure letter A, B, C, D, and E. Okay, look at the underlined sentences. Um, letter A is letter A. Is talk always talking about his life. Okay, going to when it is based on what we can see or hear. Okay, wait here. So going to when we already decided what to do, are you going to do anything about? What else? Let me see. Okay, we use will to make offers and promises. I'll tell him if you want. Wait, wait, wait. This uh, offer. Wait. Teacher. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, letter B, uh, letter B, I don't know here. Look at letter D, just try to answer. Just what first. Um, I think letter A is, um, it looks like it's going to rain. Okay, okay. Okay, it looks like we're going, how about letter B? Letter B is. Okay. Based on what we know, or it's just a guess. Letter B is he won't get angry. Okay, so that's it. And letter C. Letter C is uh. Letter C is what? When we have already decided what to do. What do you think? It is? Oh, what do you think? It is? Okay. Letter A you said it looks like it's going to rain. Okay. Letter B you said he won't get angry. How about letter C? What is your answer? Ah, the letter C is here. There's answer already. How about letter D? What's the answer for letter D? I will speak to him then. Oh, I'll speak to him then. Okay, when we decide what to do at the moment of speaking. Okay, let's see your answer. Okay, I'll speak to him then. Correct. So this is later. I will discuss about this. Next. Okay, very good. And it's look like it's going to rain. Very good, Nick. Okay, look at here. Letter A. Going to when it is based on what we can see or hear. So, yeah, it looks like it's going to rain. It's a prediction, but you can find here that you can see what happens. So, you predict. Okay, that's very good. So, B. Will when it is based on what we know, uh, what we, what we know, or he's just a guess. So you're just guessing. So he won't get angry. Okay, that you will guess. Okay, very good. 
So, you're guessing that, ah, teacher, he won't get angry. Okay, let us see. You will use going to when we have already decided what to do. So, finished. Are you going to do anything about it? So, you already decided that. D, will when we decide what to do at the moment of speaking. So, I am speaking. So, at the moment I am speaking, I already decide what to do. I said, I will speak to him then. Okay, so you decided to speak to okay, him then. Okay, understand it? Very easy, right? Yeah. Letter E, when we use will to make offers and promises. Okay, I will tell him if you want. So, I'll make an offer that I will tell him if you want. Okay? You understand, Nick? It's okay? Okay, great job. Okay. Please read this question. Which present and future tenses would you use to answer one? Okay, first. So, this one, I will ask you a question. So, you don't need to write. You will only answer. Okay. So, you can probably use here the present and future tenses. Okay. So first. Okay. Oh, by the way, please study the, the what's that? the questions and if you are done studying if you already know what your answer you tell me i will give you two minutes to do that Okay. I'm down, teacher. Okay. Okay, first, what habits do you have that might annoy people? What habits you have that do you have that might annoy people? Do you know the word annoy? Do you know that? Okay, Nick, what do you think? Yes, I know. Yeah, okay, what habits do you have or habit? Do you have that might annoy people? You can use future tense. Will like that. Yes. I think is um You just simply talk, you just speak to teacher, to share. Try to share to teacher. Okay. 
Okay, so let's continue. Sorry. Okay, here next. You find it hard, Nick, in answering? Uh, I just already asked her, you. Okay. So, what habits do you have that might annoy people? So, one thing more. I don't know. Uh, uh, like? Uh, as people. The habits that you have that might annoy people, but people don't like don't like it. Do you have or no? You don't have. What do you think, Nick? Do you have habits or no, teacher? What do you think? No, I don't have. You don't have. Okay, so you don't have. Okay, next question. What do you do if someone has, has a habit like that that are annoying? What will you do or what do you do? Example, your friend, your classmates has that habit that you don't like it and it feels so annoying. What do you do? I think I will push him as far as I could. Oh, <laughs> you. <laughs> okay, number three. What social arrangement have you made for the next few days or oh, your plans? Okay, what social arrangement have you made for the next few days? Your plan. Your plans. What is social arrangement? Like, like uh, something that will enjoy you, like you will have got in a party, like that, that social arrangement. To go with the friends, okay, go shopping, like that. What do you think? I think I don't want to go anywhere. Okay. Okay, so you don't go anywhere in the next few days. Okay. Number four, what event in school do you predict for the coming year? For the coming year, not this school year. For the coming year, year 2022-2023, school year. What event in the school do you predict for the coming year? Mở 
What do you think? Um, I think it's the smoke festival. Oh, what's what do you have festival like that in Vietnam? What festival is that? Um, it's like a sport competition, I guess. Yeah, the sport competition. You like to join sport competition? Oh really? So are you are you what's that? Are you part of the football team in your school? You like to play football? Wow. Really? Oh yes. Wow. So what plans do you have for the next school holiday? So we already had a test that test. What plans do you have for the next school holiday? The thing is, I will do everything I want. Like? Example, give me example. <laughs> give me example, Nick. Eating, I guess. Oh, so by the way, are you having your face-to-face -face classes in Vietnam now? You're going to school every day? Every day? Wow. Um, except uh, Saturday and Sunday. Ah, yeah, yeah. That's Monday with days. Monday to Friday, you go to school every day. So what time will you go there and what time you will go home? I go there about 5 o'clock. In the morning? Clock, I guess. Yes. In the morning? And I will. And then? And I will come home at uh, 5 o'clock to in the evening. Oh, in the afternoon. So five. That's very early. Every day you go to school. So did you wear masks? What did yes. you need? Oh, masks. So how about how far you are with your classmates? What? How far? Because in the Philippines, we don't have face-to-face. -face. No face-to-face -face yet. How's COVID in Vietnam? Is it okay or many? Still many? It's kind of good, I guess. Oh, yeah. Like, how many are you inside the classroom? Uh, about less than 20. 20. Oh, not, that's very good. Okay, it's not that too many. What's the name of your school? In Ho Chi Minh, right? Yes. Yeah, what's the name of your school? My name is... Uh, my the name, name, the is... name of the school? Uh, pathway, I guess. Oh, okay. So, actually, Nick, in the Philippines, we don't have face-to-face -face yet. So, we have to have class like that online. That's quite hard. So, that's your plan in the next school holiday. Okay. So, here, you are indicating some of the samples. Present habit and routine. Okay, always. Okay, when you see habit, you will always say the word always. Okay, I always, okay, don't like people who do that habits. Okay, so what do you do? Someone has habits that are annoying, okay, still habits. Okay, this one, future arrangement. What will you do in the future? So, because that's next few days. So, that's a future arrangement. Next, it's what events in school do you predict for the coming year? So that is based on what you know, or you just guessing, or you just very good. You tell me, teacher, I guess there's a sports holiday, okay, sports event game. So that's correct because you are just guessing because you don't know. Okay, going to when we already have decided what to do, future arrangement again, next school holiday. So it's not happening yet, still in the future, okay? So you understand, okay, my point here, Nick, is you understand what I mean. You understand how to use will and how to use going to. Do you understand, teacher? You understand? Okay? Okay, very good. Okay, here, let's move to the past tenses. So when we say past tenses, it means it's already happened. So, but before that, okay, I will ask you, before we have that, we only have a few minutes left, okay? I will ask you, what is, Nick, what is your most embarrassing or most happiest moment in the past? Happiest, 
the happiest moment in the past. What is that? Uh, I don't know. Oh, you don't, you don't have happiest moment? Really? Actually, I forgot. You forgot. Okay. So one of the things that you did not forget. The one that makes you happy. Um, I don't know. Okay, wait, wait for a minute. Wait for a minute, Nick. So even though we have a, a, a very bad day, but then we always remember we have also the happiest moment in our past, okay? So we learn mistakes from our past. If we did something wrong to our friends, we did learn that because of our past. So now, because when you see past tenses, it means it already happened in the past. It's done. It is done, okay? So, always remember that using the past simple, you have to put D or ED. Don't forget that. D or ED. That's common. Okay. We use the past continuous to describe an activity that was in progress at a certain time in the past. Okay. There is a progress at the certain time in the past. So, it's past continuous. Still, it already happened. We use past symbol for a single event that interrupted, inter interrupted a longer event in the past. And we use past continuous for a longer event. So when you see past simple, it's just very short. When I say, I cried yesterday, that's simple past. When you say past continuous, there's ING. I am crying for quite a long time now. Okay, that is. I am crying for quite a long time now. So it already happened in the past. But it's long time now. So maybe like two years. You have been crying for two years. Okay, so that's it. So again, simple past, I cried yesterday. Past continuous, I have been crying. I have been crying for quite long time now okay so let us have this okay we use the past simple for a sequence of events that happen one after other that's past simple i cried tomorrow i baked cake yesterday okay it's not tomorrow i baked cake yesterday I went to the market. Very simple. So when you speak up with past simple, very easy. All you have to remember, there is D and ED. Don't forget this one. There is D or ED. Okay, that's make it simple. I mean, past tense. But other than that, we also have this, the changing like catch. It becomes hot. Okay, so there's a... Right, you will not say at written, it's wrote. And past participle, it's written. Okay, so this one. Look at the spelling code, wrote, it is changed only. We don't need to put the or ed. I know grammar is quite hard, but for you, I know it's very easy. You are a very smart boy, okay? So now, uh, wait for a while, okay? Now, um, Nick, I already, I gave you homework. Just in case you want to answer it, you can tell teacher so we can check it, okay? Okay, there's no problem with teacher. So, we don't have enough time right now. So, I guess teacher Anne will say goodbye and we're going to continue this on 
the next class. Okay. Using the past continuous, past simple, the past perfect. I know we have to dig down to learn grammar. Grammar is very nice. If you can learn this all, you are great, amazing English speaker. Okay. So all you have to do, just try hard. Even though you did not sure of your answer, it's okay. No problem. Like, always remember, no problem. Okay? Okay. So for now, teacher Anne will say goodbye. And I hope to see you next day. Okay? So I will see you. Okay? So bye for now, Nick. Thank you. Amen. Okay.